Ternary forms consist of three independent sections. The first section, labeled A, presents original melodic material in the tonic key. The middle section contrasts with A in terms of melodic material, texture, and key. The A section is restated, usually complete, and often varied in form. If the first and last sections are identical, they are both labeled A. If the return of A is altered, then it is labeled A prime. There are two categories of ternary form, simple and compound. In a simple ternary form, each section is one of the following, a sentence, period, repeated phrase, or phrase group. In a compound ternary form, one or more sections are a self-contained form. The self-contained form could be binary, rounded binary, or ternary. The first section of a compound ternary form almost always ends in the tonic key, thus the large scale form is sectional. Simple ternary can be sectional or continuous. Sectional means that each section closes with a perfect authentic cadence. The B section may be in a different key, like the dominant, but it still closes with a PAC in that key. Songs and arias are often in simple sectional ternary form. The tonal closure and marked thematic and textural contrast create clear division into three sections. Simple continuous ternary means that the first section closes with a half cadence in the original tonic or ends on a PAC in a new key, here marked with an X. The B section will pick up harmonically where the A section left off and modulate back to tonic in preparation for the return of the A section. The second A section begins the same as the first A section, but the ending is modified in order to cadence on tonic. Simple continuous ternary forms are often found in songs, and this form is often referred to as song form. Unlike the sectional ternary form, continuous ternary emphasizes the continuous development of a main idea, similar to continuous rounded binary form. When one or more sections contain a self-contained binary or ternary form, we refer to the overall form as compound. De capo form features a complete and exact restatement of the A section after a contrasting B section. This is usually indicated in the score with de capo al fine, which means go back to the beginning and play until the end of the A section. In a large ternary form, the restatement of the A section is written out, often with embellishments and sometimes expanded. The B section will be in a different key than the A section and often introduces more active rhythmic textures. Links or transitions are often used between sections, particularly between the B section and the restatement of A. Let's listen to Schubert's Auf dem Flusse from his song cycle Winterreise and then use what we've learned to analyze the form. Oh! 
The A section starts in D minor and is characterized by the prominent ascending scales in the voice and the plodding eighth note accompaniment in the piano. To find the beginning of the B section, we should look for a significant change in key, texture, or rhythm. The beginning of page two is an obvious choice because of the change in key from D minor to D major, as well as the new rhythmic and textural figures in the piano accompaniment. The return to the A section requires a return to D minor. The final system on page 2 emphasizes the dominant of D minor and accentuates the arrival of the A section with a prominent moment of silence. At first glance, though, it may seem that this is not the A section that opened the work. The piano accompaniment is different, the vocal melody is different, and this section seems to be twice as long as both the A and B sections. What do we make of this? Firstly, the return to D minor, the original tonic, is significant. Key areas are essential to delineating sections. Secondly, the ascending vocal melody from the first A section is present in the bass line of the piano part. Thirdly, the text in this section is repeated in its entirety. This explains the added length. Notice the last system on page 3. The music is a modified repetition of the first system. The rhythms in the voice are identical and the rhythms in the piano are very similar. The bass in the piano is an octave lower and the harmonies have been modified. Because of these and other changes, this section is labeled A prime. To identify the type of ternary form, we must determine if there are any self-contained forms in any of the sections. The four-measure piano introduction in the opening A section leads to material in the voice that could be described as a sentence, two measures repeated then followed by four measures of continuation. This eight-measure sentence is repeated after a brief one-measure link in the piano. The B and A prime sections also exhibit repeating phrase structures, but no self-contained forms. Therefore, the form of this song is simple ternary. To determine if the form is sectional or continuous, we must analyze the end of the first A section. In the fifth system, the music cadences in C-sharp minor, away from tonic then quickly transitions to D major, the key of the B section. We can now categorize the entire song as simple continuous ternary. Ternary forms are utilized in a tremendous number of classical works, both vocal and instrumental, classical and modern. These analytic tools can be used to deepen your understanding and appreciation of these forms, but also enhance your ability to perform a wide variety of music with more nuance and precision.